Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the final three episodes of Black Bullet, which it's really weird to say that because it feels like just yesterday we started the show, and now by Monday when this comes out, I'll be at work probably when this comes out, or I'll be getting ready for work, and we're, we're done with this, and I'll be starting my next series with the next thing that this person has requested after this show, which it's still crazy because I'm like, bro, we're really done with this. so freaking weird but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 and three two one go <laughs> oh my god my nose I just hope the show gets a happy ending. I mean, you know, after this we got two more episodes and then I gotta watch Pokemon. Oh! We all gonna die. Oh, you see? Nah. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Okay, so you know when you kill a pregnant spider and then all the baby spiders come out? Oh my god, that is like the worst thing in the world. I'm like, no, I don't like that. I was like, nope. <laughs> kill him. Like, no, I hate bugs. I can't stand bugs. Like, oh my god. No, mm -mm. that's like if I was playing Pokemon. <laughs> Real life Misty, I do not like bugs like that. Mm -mm. There's so there's some cute bug Pokemon, and there are some cute bugs like a ladybug and a butterfly. That that's it. I don't like ants. I don't like roaches. I don't like kind of, oh kind of feel like it's just a little butterfly. It's just an evolution thing. Um, I I don't like moths. I don't like any type of bugs. <laughs> I'm better watching ladybugs. That's it. Unless it's really cute. But then sometimes the really cute ones can be the most poisonous. <laughs> Which is true. I can't. God, look at them. Jesus. Oh, and there's a big fucking one. Oh, my God. Oh, God. We already doomed. Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh my god, he saw it. That's the best girl, honey. Oh my god. That's some pretty cure power right there. See now, if Antara was like, okay, we're strong, we got this, da 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 da, da I'd have been like, how do wait, wait, don't catch your blessings, bro. Oh, crap. There you go. That's how you do it. Because <laughs> we are screwed. Everyone is gonna die. 
No, he's already dead. Oh, well, he dead now. He no, 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 no. Don't worry about him. Let him die. Let him die. Bye, bye. Well, you know, at least he didn't get eaten by a titan. You know, I mean, cause. Woo! <laughs> I hate the fact that I'm joking about this right now. But yes, at least he didn't get eaten by a titan. <laughs> No one wants to get eaten by another human because, woo, woo. But yeah, would you rather get eaten by Gasher or a freaking Titan? I mean, woo, because, mmm. Too many. Woo. Have. Okay, you know what? Put down that white flag. It's time to go. <laughs> if okay, if half of the people that they had died, there is no outcome for them. There is no way that they can have a victory because of this. Jesus. <laughs> exactly. It was. She could still be bottling it up, though, but the heck is that sound? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, hey, Tina.
See, that just makes me hungry and, well, hungrier <laughs> such. But I still have all the next two bids of this to do and then the last three bids of Bakuman to do. And then I can eat. <laughs> But I might eat after I'm done watching all three of these because I don't know if I can like hold on for another hour and 30 minutes. Like Godzilla large? I mean, but you know, we ain't gonna know until we get there, right? Hmm? So, a headquarters is a school, okay. Well, uh, yeah. You can't kill an immortal, though. I'm, I'm just saying. about the Seriously, though, but that's just stupid.
Lies. But you don't, though. I know, right? Yeah, did you really think you were going to outrun a dog? Psh, psh, oh, oh. oh, God. Okay, so is it just Kisahara or is it just... Oh, no. Yeah, you might do something to him. Yeah, why do you wear a mask? What do you actually look like? I mean, I would. Of course you do.
Of course these two would be gone by morning. Oh! So let me guess, you want to kill them as well. I mean, you know, if you want to team up, then just team up. But of course, they both have their separate reasons on why they're doing this. Well, God, <laughs> this episode went by too fast. I can't believe it's already done. Okay, so I feel like now what we're going to see is this next episode possibly is either going to be in the POV of Tina Kisara or um, Enju herself. Enju waking up, finding out that Rentaro is gone, getting upset, and she's going to go out and go find him. And then, of course, Kisahara and Tina are also going to make <laughs> come along because, you know, we're going to go on this journey together to go find a husband and such and bring him back home. I, I really speculated Kisahara was the one, but the fact is that it's the two characters from the beginning of this series coming back for the final three episodes, and we only really have two more episodes left. Uh, I mean, anything could really happen. Anything. This episode really, truly went by fast. I mean, I didn't even think we were at the end until the credits came up because we're just watching. But, oh, God. I it just, I do feel bad for Andrew because he just, he leaves. He did say, I'm sorry, but she said it to her. Wow, she's sleeping. That's not cool. At least wake her up. Like, what if, okay, we're about to get into the final two episodes of this. What if he dies by the end of this? I mean, because he, he's, it's either, okay, I understand of why he had to disband his group because of what he did and such. I get that. But still, it's a little effed up that he had to. He should have still been able to have his group, but under some circumstances, he can't do certain things. That's what it should have been. Him going by himself and getting, being responsible for this and trying to go kill plebs is a little messed up. He should at least have someone else besides these two coming with him and such because who knows what their, you know, um, objectives are. We, we really don't know. Straight up. And I feel like when we get into these next two episodes, we might learn the objective of these two and the fact is and everything. But, of course, we have to wait and see. But I feel like, yeah, when we get into this next episode, and she's going to be very, very upset. Tina, yeah, she's going to be upset too because, you know, she calls freaking Rentano Onisan. So, you know, come on now. Come on. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Alrighty, episode 12 and 3 two, one, go. Ooh, I like her shoes! Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so uh, w uh, I cannot speak. Will it be easy to kill? I just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to rely on these two. I'm going to wait for a minute. 
Okay. If you would have told me at the beginning when we first saw these two, the big bad of the first like two, three, four episodes for this show, that they would have ended up working with Rintaro in the last three episodes of this show, I probably would have been looking at you like you were stupid and funny. Be like, what the hell are you talking about? Why in the world would the good guys and the bad guys be working together? I mean, like that, that's some Suicide Squad-ish right there. But, I mean, there's never really been a point where the group of the Suicide Squad has possibly worked with Batman or it. But still, it is a little crazy that, you know, good guys, main characters of this show, working with the bad guys who almost wanted to kill Enju. And, you know, I'm guessing still that is how Yuki's voice says this little girl wanted to beat the crap out of Enju, a.k.a. freaking Laura from... <laughs> Tropical Rouge, Pretty Care, aka Silica from freaking Sora Online. Like, if you would have told me that, I probably really would have looked at you like you was crazy. Like, because hold up. I would have been like, that is a fever dream. That is a big old fanfic right there. Like, because there is no way in the world that would happen. But, you know, here we are. Here we are. Just oof. <laughs> oh, God. But of course, it's not going to be easy defeating this thing. Was it really that easy? I mean, but you still got all the gashes, so... Uh. Oh... Oh, but more is still coming out. See, uh, oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I thought that thing was not going to go down without a fight, but okay. Exactly. So it's just going to regenerate. Oh, God.
now they're all gonna turn against each other. Oh no, they're all gonna turn against him. <laughs> Just let, hear him out. Let him talk. No, she didn't die. No, no, no.
Mother Yang right so shit. Oh, I'm cutting. <laughs> oh, God. You are going too far. God, sir, it's, uh... oh, thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you go all your separate ways. Extra help, Kisana.
Stop. Hmm. Are those supposed to be... Oh, batteries. So they just screwing him over. I, I really don't like people, you know? People just screw you over. I hate the fact that we lost Mutonine. I thought she was going to be okay. I thought everybody was going to be fine when he got back. But no. And, and it just in a way, Rentado has become like... I mean, yeah, as the as what's-her-face, um, Gus's partner said... He, in a way, he has become a dictator in a way. I mean, he, he literally stabbed the crap out of somebody and said, if you want to leave or run away, you just getting killed. <laughs> Yagerus! <laughs> Yagerus! <laughs> Even though I haven't read the manga for Attack on Titan, but like, oof, the way! <laughs> Especially with the first half of that final season, because, oh! Big O, like, come on now. The, the, woo, the prelude to the end of the storm. Oh, God. But we about to go into final battle, necessarily. This is when it's truly going to matter. I feel bad for everybody. And the fact is that, you know, it, him talking to Andrew and them being at the same place where they were not too long. A couple episodes ago when they were with all the freaking kids. And they were fine and happy. But... This is when, you know, we're either going to see this show end in a good way. Oh, God. Don't say that. It, it, this show is either going to end in a good way or if it's going to end in a bad way. If we're going to officially see Rentado die by the end of this, I understand that. If it's going to be Enju, you know, being... It, it'd be Enju, Tina, and uh, Kisahara living together without... Rentado and Rentado just you know dead and he's like up at the heavens looking over them and watching over them like th there's so many ways that this final episode could conclude but I will say and I, I think especially when I get into the final thoughts of this for th this show isn't bad I will say that but I think possibly there is still more to the story of this and you can tell there still is especially with wherever the hell they're going to end with this final episode leading into something it, it, this isn't the first series that I've seen where it's like oh we're ending at like a big arc but it, it's concluded but the next arc this next like quote unquote big arc that's what we're starting at and then you have to go read the the light novel or the manga just to see what possibly is in store next it's very similar to um no guns life where they had they ended on like a really good high note for the series when it concluded not like when the first 
per se 12 episodes i'm talking about when the whole freaking series concluded and if you really truly wanted to know about what happened after episode 24 i'm guessing because it was a it was a two curve series you had to read the manga to see what the heck was going to happen next and it seems like that with this show like if i need to know something i have to go read the source material and, and sometimes like i get it yeah you got to read the source material but sometimes you're just like i want a whole freaking video essay on what the heck happened after this but of course we're about to see how this is going to conclude i'm really excited slash nervous and scared all the emotions right now but yeah i, I hope it's going to be really good i hope it's a very conclusive ending that's all i really want i want to be i i hope it makes me satisfied by the end because i really truly enjoyed this show but i don't want it to be like oh hey like I liked every single episode except this last one, you know, but we ain't gonna know. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. Is you. Like, just even the way he is saying that to her is almost in a way of him saying goodbye. Even though in the preview, you did see him say or hear him say this is goodbye and such. It just feels like more and more that he is going to die by the end of this. Do I want him to die? No, but if it's necessary to the story, then I get it. I understand him dying. Because, I mean, he is a main character. And plus, there are main characters that have died before. The whole, and this is spoilers for people who don't know, the whole freaking cast of Akudama Drive, except the kids. The kids were the only two who survived. And they moved on to go who knows where. It's almost been a freaking year since Akudama, well, no. It's been a year since Akudama Drive air, aired, that aired in October. And such, and we're getting closer and closer to when the final episode aired on Christmas. So it's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> we're like, oh hey, this was the day the two best characters died. And I was like, Kanaka's not gonna kill him. Come on now, Kanaka's gonna at least make four people survive because if you played the Dog and Rumpa care, I mean, the Dog and Rumpa series, you always know that people end up surviving. And I'm thinking, okay, they're gonna be fine. No, only two. AKA children. And I was just, I was a big bag pile of emotions last year around that time. I was a hot mess. <laughs> I was crying every single week <laughs> over these characters. Because they threw the batteries out in the water. <laughs> All right. Five minutes ain't enough time, though. Hmm? Supposed to be, supposed to be Hellfire?
Oh, God, this is so scary. I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just pray that they're successful and nothing bad happens because anything can happen in these, like, last few 20 minutes of this show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course he would be like that at this time. In the moment of where anyone could die, he'd be over here like, yes, yes, this is truly what I want at this moment. <laughs> oh, God. And I thought cutthroat from Akudama Drive was... <laughs> Well, Cutthroat is the most craziest character, but like, oh, this dude, mmm. Oh, God. Puffa and Aoyuki, that's all I'll say. Throw it in there and get out. I didn't hear anything. No, oh my god. Good, good. Watch her wake up. Everything was going so good, but only because a freaking bomb couldn't go off.
No. You've already lost and you don't need you don't need to do this. Probably less than even 50 people. There's the batteries. Either batteries or just supplies in general. It is messed up that Shoma was the one who sacrificed himself, even though we just, I only knew him for like a couple of episodes, so it wasn't really enough to kind of, well, no, it was enough to establish a connection between him and Mirorin and myself, but still, like, damn, for both of them to die within two episodes? Ugh. She just, she best girl infinity. That's it. Oh. These two really about to duke it out. Oh. 
Yes. Damn, woo! Really, Cody? I mean, should she though? Good luck getting home. Girl! <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, let's just go home, guys. So,
that so wait, wait that's how we ended this oh you, we ended this show with a possibility that Kisahara might be a villain what is this this is Madoka Magica we doing that we doing that you know with Homada Homada being a villain of Madoka Ooh, and then, then, then uh, one day, one day that those two was going to fight. Is that what this is with this show? Oh, uh, I mean, that's not a bad uh, ending, but still, like, Jesus. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Yeah, that was good. It still does leave a lot of unanswered questions with it. And of course, as I said in the previous video, um, in the end, I have to look at source material to really figure out, especially with Kisahara in her situation. I understand. Yes, killing your brother it is a little messed up. I, I, I agree with Rentado in some things, but in the same thing, I, I do agree with Kisahara with, with certain things because of the fact is, this was her revenge story. This was her moment. She needed to get, she needed to move on past this. Ten years of having hatred for one person is a very long time to really think about, okay, really should I end up, you know, K-wording this person and defeating this person slash slaying this person? Will it truly be right? Will people look at me at a different way? And yeah, Rentado, Andrew, and Tina are all going to look at her in a different way and there's a possibility that wherever the heck in the manga or in the light novel for this series these two are possibly enemies and they're gonna have to face each other now i mean like yeah you're getting a, a very conclusive ending but it still feels like there's a lot still uncovered and unanswered that we i probably will never know unless one i do read the source material or if someone has made a video on this series from the beginning up to wherever the heck the manga or light novel is explaining almost every little detail of what the heck has happened after this show then yeah I could get some more information on that but I mean for a, a 13 episode series it was not that bad I, I really loved everyone in this in this show the ones who everyone who I got attached to their deaths being really really sad and especially seeing Rentaro in the last few minutes of this episode breaking down because of the fact is we hadn't really truly seen him break down since um 
the one little girl died. When she died and when he was, when he killed her, basically, the last few moments and stuff, like, that hurt. That really, truly hurt my heart. And I was praying to God that we were never going to get a moment to see a character die. But in this series and possibly in the future, yeah, characters are always going to die. You're always going to be upset about any character dying, whether it's someone who you met two three episodes ago prior or someone who's been with you since the beginning you never really truly know who's gonna die but yeah it makes me wonder what the heck has possibly happened in the series and how it's probably going maybe if the series is possibly concluded I don't really know but I mean it was a really enjoyable experience and I think I probably will never forget this would I um would I buy this series probably I would I, I like I said it was a very interesting thing to have like three different seiyus who I well technically four if we want to count Aoyuki um four seiyus in this show who I knew from se several different series that they've done to be in a show together and such was very interesting and I don't think we've ever really truly had that ever since again technically if you want to count um Kisahara's uh seiyu and then um the little girl who Aoyuki voice of course that is you know um, oh my god, Isekai Quartet, because, you know, Kanesuba and Saga telling you evil, because in their own series, they don't collide, but in that little wacky mini-series, like, of course, yes, they do collide, and so it's always interesting to see, you know, have a chance to see certain seiyus work together, because, you know, when you have a certain favorite seiyu, and then another one, and you see them work together, it's just like, ugh. So it was very much, like, especially because I think probably a couple of years after this came out, and around the time when I started um, Kisahaya, uh, Kisahada Seiyu, um, what's her face who plays, uh, Amelia, there we go, it took me a minute, Amelia and what is your name in Kanazuba, I don't remember, Megamean. They were in Pretty Cure together. And then you had my favorite voice actress of all time also being in that same Pretty Cure series. And so to have those three in that show was very good. I mean, having any big, big names they use in any show working together is so awesome. But I really, truly enjoyed this series. Yes, I am very sad that this is over. But I mean, that is just, you know... It is now the start of a new show. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire series of Black Bullet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for the start of my next series. Bye, guys!